All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So here we are with the Sierra Blue iPhone 13 Pro. So we're going to crack this open here. A little pull tabs here. And we'll get into this and we'll test out the video. Oh, that looks beautiful. It definitely does not look like I thought it was going to look, but I like it. It's more subtle uh, than on this picture right here, as you can see. It depends on the lighting. Depending on how you're holding the, the device, that's going to determine how the light hits it. So obviously in here, just this simple little things, no charging brick. So here's the device. All right, guys, so here we are. I've got the device all set up. I uh, got my apps installed. Don't have it organized yet, but um, here's the device. We're just going to take a look at the hardware real quickly, a little closer here. So this blue is absolutely beautiful in person. Uh, I, I was hoping that it wasn't too bright like it shows on the box here, uh, but uh, powder blue is one of my favorite colors. Uh, and that's what it looks like on video, like when you're looking at it on the website. But this is a real subtle almost gray blue uh, and it is just beautiful in person I, I have to admit I'm happy that I went with the the smaller variant this time instead of going with the pro model right away uh, and uh, that's just a huge plus for me so um, again I've got a lot of my apps on here already I've got them set up I haven't I don't really have them organized yet but I want to show you the cutout on the top here As you can see there it is a lot smaller uh, even though that's something that uh, could be very well taken away. Uh, that's just a the thing. They made it smaller and they feel like they've made some improvements. Well, face ID and everything works the same. Uh, it, it's flown alone just, just the same as the other. So um, I didn't do a restore this time. I, I, I downloaded each one of these. I went into my purchase and just clicked each one, all the ones that I wanted to have on here. So uh, nonetheless, uh, man, this is going to be really nice to to have this pro model uh, and we're going to pop open the cameras and, because really uh, this is uh, just about the um, the uh, cameras for me and the hardware itself uh, so I did get the 256 gig version I want to have a little bit more memory because uh, I'll probably be doing a lot more recording with this I want to see if Apple took care of that hue that I hate so much uh, but I think the cinematic mode is probably the one that I would probably use the most outside of 4k 60 uh, which is why I got a higher memory option. I was I, I might still get the terabyte option. I'm not sure, uh, but uh, that's just the thing. It's, it's up in it's up in the air. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, this is the hardware, and it's, these camera modules are huge, uh, <laughs> and I guess they're like that for a reason. I don't know, but it's like a bump, then another bump on top of that. So let's see how good these cameras actually are. I gotta hurry and get my case on here. I do have a case, uh, several cases. Um, uh, I'll showcase them in another video, but. Uh, nonetheless, let's take a look at these cameras because that is really what this video is about for me. All right, guys. So here is the iPhone 13 Pro cinematic mode. And I think this is actually going to be really fun to use. I do have a little bit of controlled lighting going on right now. I do have a light up top. Uh, but I'll go out into the natural elements like the sun and everything like that and see how it does outside. Um, with some testing in the right setting, I think this this footage can be really good for vlogging. I'll even probably sit at the desk over there and click one of the lights on just to get kind of a lower light setting and see how it, how it handles it. But for now, this is just me standing right here. This is all microphones and everything that you hear are going to be from the iPhone itself. The audio on the iPhone will follow my voice. So if I'm standing at the back of the device, it'll obviously pick up stronger at the back. And now I'm at the front. It's going to pick up stronger at the front. Now, it is actually a very windy day outside. Uh, and there's a lot of construction at the back of my house. So let's see how the microphones handle that. Let's get to it. All right, so here is a kind of a lower light setting, me vlogging right here at my desk in cinematic mode. Um, I just actually have one LED going. I kind of close all, I have uh, those blackout curtains, so I close all that off. Uh, and I uh, just kind of wanted to see what it would be like to use this device sitting in this area for a vlog. I'm going to actually turn the light down even more. And now the light's down a lot more uh, than it normally would be. So uh, this is just a quick vlog indoors, uh, holding the phone like this. And remember, you can adjust the aperture after the fact. So um, setting it at about four is where I think a lot of people will probably do best because it really blurs it out, obviously, at two. Uh, but um, what do you think about the footage so far? 
All right, guys, so we are outside. It's, uh, I'm, in, I'm under the uh, patio area right now. It's kind of shaded out. Uh, but there's a lot of construction back there. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm going to step out into the elements here because it's very windy out. So I'm going to go out into direct sunlight. Whoa. Sun really poking from right here. So the video probably looks fantastic. I'm curious how the audio is because the it's super it's kind of windy out for recording video. Uh, it's not a strong winds, but it's windy enough to where the mic should be picking up some wind at some point or another. Uh, but um, this is me in direct sunlight, and this is also the rear camera. And for reference, it can uh, do the same cinematic video on the front camera as well. But when I tested on the front camera, it kind of I didn't really like it. It looked a little too soft for me, uh, but. I'll give you a sample of the front camera uh, right now. All right, so here's the front camera, uh, and this just looks um, just just a hair different for the quality that I want to vlog with. I'm pretty sure you're probably saying, Jay, that's super clear. There's an airplane going above me. When I step out of view, it completely goes off and focuses on something else. I'm going to go ahead and put it off here. As you can see, it focuses on the chairs over there. Then I come back into view and it focuses back on me. So the front camera does uh, fairly well. It's, I'm still fairly sharp, but depending on the lighting, it might not look too great on the front camera. So vlogging with this thing is actually gonna be pretty good. You can adjust the aperture um, if you want to from four to six to two. Um, having too much blur though might not look too great, but um, I think by default it's at two, but you can change it to about four and I think that should be good for you. But this is um outside and you should hear a lot of construction back there right now uh, and you should hear a little bit of wind too but i think the footage is great so far now here's just regular video no cinematic mode this is 4k 60 um and i'm pretty sure it looks really really good i really like the iphone's cameras i think they've kind of corrected a lot of things as far as that hue goes wind is really picking up now you let me know if you can hear a lot of wind uh, but I'm not talking at a very uh, loud tone either. I'm trying to talk real soft since I'm outside. Uh, but truth is, the cameras are actually really great on here. And photos, obviously, you know, they're going to be good. Now, another function about the iPhone is the ability to use macro shots with the wide-angle lens. So it has the ability to get in really close. Uh, so you just open the camera up. Now, Apple, in their way of doing it, they explained it by, they said you had to open the wide-angle camera itself but what i've learned is that you can just get close you can get like really close like it 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 just does not stop i'm like right up on it super clear that is super clear footage incredible how close it can get i'm gonna go turn on the wide angle yeah it adjusts that way but i think it's better to just leave it and let it adjust on its own that is, I'm like right on it. Some people have been taking pictures of their eyes because they saw certain people do that online. You can kind of see it switch once you get close enough. Like you see the switch, I don't know if you saw that switch, but you get real close and it starts to, it'll switch to the, to the macro lens. A little delay in the switch there, but yeah. That's really close. That's like really close. And when you pull it away, it'll turn off the feature. You can see the little motion there where it turns it off. Uh, but that's another part of the phone that I think I'll, I'll use somewhat. But other than that, uh, obviously this is the highlight of the phone for a lot of people, the cameras. Uh, it is, it's just something that I think people are really going to enjoy this time around. And again, like I said, you know, I have my personal opinions about, you know, the things that they allowed this year with the cameras on all the models, but that's just how I feel. And some people are really happy that they're finally spreading it across the board. Uh, and I guess I should be too, because um, after having this right here, I think I'm definitely going to stay with the pro models this year. Um, because again, I do, I did go with the 12 last year and yeah, I could have traded this in, but I was like, yeah, I'll use this for some B-roll or something like that, or shoot top-down shots. It's totally doable. And the camera doesn't only do macro and cinematic. It takes 4K 60. It does great photos. Regular portrait video, uh, photos are good. Regular photos are good. Everything is good on the phone with the cameras. I think this is a nice upgrade uh, for Apple. Uh, I'm, I think this is a nice upgrade. And I'm happy that they finally did something to excite me 
about the cameras because I'm a hard sell on cameras because you have so many other devices out there uh, that do well with footage uh, and Apple really needs to bring in. People have always said that Apple's cameras are the best uh, and I've compared Apple's cameras and I don't think that they were the best overall. Uh, they did better in some areas, but this entire video is being shot with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. So what do you think about that? This this device too can do portrait video uh, and it can do different uh, types of portrait video. So, um, but I'm just shooting in regular 1080p 60 for this video. Uh, and I just wanted to point that out that Apple's cameras are great. And I will be using this camera probably for some top down shots or just footage of things. Uh, and I think it's really nice. So I'm excited to finally get my, my 13 Pro in. Uh, I'm a bit very happy with the footage, but nonetheless, to give that example, the portrait video to me, or the cinematic video to me, uh, is uh, okay for what it is. Uh, it's not spectacular, but I think it's fantastic. Like it's in the it's in the great to fantastic level of footage that I could definitely use for a vlog. So once they incorporate that to 4K 24 and 4K 30 and 4K 60, uh, I think I'm really gonna have some fun with these cameras. So it's your man Jay. This is my iPhone 13 Pro. Um, super happy that it's finally here. Uh, they held it for like five days right up the road from me. <laughs> they do that to me all the time. It's all good. Uh, but here it is, the iPhone 13 Pro. If you got the 13 Pro, uh, tell me, it doesn't matter what color you got, tell me what you think about the footage that comes from your cameras that you can produce now. It's your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.